Hi folks. Today I thought we'd take a break from after treatment related topics and get back to basics. If your vehicle is powered by a Detroit heavy duty DD series engine and it's experiencing temperature related problems like overheating or possibly not getting up to operating temperature, you may be due to replace the thermostat. Today we're going to have a look at how to go about doing that. The thermostat is located on the left side of the engine on the oil coolant module. Thermostat regulates coolant flow from the engine to the radiator. It does this to control the temperature of the coolant flowing through your engine. The thermostat can stick open, closed, or even anywhere in between and not work as it was designed. The first step will be to drain the coolant from the system. The location of the coolant drain can vary from manufacturers, but it's usually low in the system, often on the bottom of the radiator. There's also a couple of spots on the engine that drain coolant out of the block. Here you see on the left side of the engine, just behind the oil coolant module, there is a drain plug. If possible, it's a good idea to attach a hose or fitting to this plug because a lot of coolant drains out of the block. And it's best to direct it away into a container because if you just let it fall out on the side of the engine, it will run down over the ECM. The oil coolant module will also hold a lot of coolant inside of it. All of the coolant held inside the thermostat housing and water pump area are all going to be contained in there so it's best to drain it out also. This can be done by removing the coolant drain plug you see here. Of course, if you don't mind making a mess, you can also just remove the thermostat without draining the oil coolant module or the block. Just stand back. Now, to remove the thermostat really couldn't be easier. Here you see it mounted to the side of the oil coolant module, and it is literally just held on with four bolts. Personally, I find it easier to unbolt the thermostat and remove it along with the coolant hose that's leading to the radiator. Once you have both items off the engine it's easier to separate them on a bench. Then you can remove the thermostat housing seal and clean up the surfaces. Here you see the old thermostat housing being removed and the new one being installed with the new seal of course. Just lubricate the seal with some clean coolant and place it inside the housing. Then bolt the housing to the engine either with or without that coolant hose installed on it. Torque the housing bolts to 22 foot-pounds and then refill the cooling system. Now Detroit, like most other engine manufacturers, does lay out a procedure to refill the cooling system and it really should be followed because it helps remove any trapped air from the system. Air in these engines is not a very good thing because it can get into places like EGR coolers and such and create hot spots and cause coolers to fail. So it's always good practice to follow those guidelines. So, that brings us to the end of this video. If you found it useful in any way, go ahead and hit that like button. You can subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.